it's Jess here with Blush Jess. Welcome to the vlog. This is Vlogmas Day 22, I believe. Wow. <laughs> we are cruising through. I can't believe how close we are to Christmas. But welcome to the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I actually, it's 11.45 right now. I've been running, running, running. I had my camera with me. I was going to update you guys out and about and take you with me. And <laughs> I got my camera out at the post office and there was no memory card in there. <laughs> so I couldn't film anything. So I'm back home with my memory card, which I need to get another one of because... I always don't have it when I need it and it gets full and stuff like that. I bought one from Walmart and it's a complete dud. I need to take it back. Anyway, anyway, welcome to the vlog. <sighs> okay, so it's a wintry, rainy, windy day outside. It's nasty. I had to get out bright and early this morning because they were coming to fix our air conditioning. You guys, I know it's December. Like I just said, it's cold and wet outside, but we've been trying to get our air conditioning fixed since before Halloween. It's been over two months. Um, I know you don't think we need the air conditioning, probably some of you may think that. However, we live in the like the middle of an apartment building, and so if everybody turns their heat on, it gets hot. Like I very rarely turn my heat on because we just don't need it. And when I'm cooking and there's laundry going and everybody has their heater on, we're dying. <laughs> It'll be like, like 75 degrees and up. And we don't like it that hot. We like it chilly. Plus, even if we don't need it right now, I wanted them to fix it because we're paying a buttload of money to live here at this little apartment. We're paying more than when we had a house in Texas. We're paying more for this apartment. So it needed to be fixed. And they're finally fixing it today. The part came in. So he got here at 10. And so I left, no, he got here at 10. Yeah, so I left before that because I just, if they're going to be here, I try to leave just so I'm not in their way and they can get in and get out. No. Anyway, um, <laughs> so he has to come back in a few hours because he has to charge it. I don't understand, but he put the part in and now he has to come back and charge it and hopefully get our portable one out of here. Um, so what I did was I went to the post office. I didn't go yesterday, so I needed to go today. I mailed my last two giveaway winners. I still need to mail Kimberly's, but I need to kind of figure out how to, I guess I could just go into the post office and say, how do I mail something to Canada? Um, but anyway, <laughs> I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to do that tomorrow. Kimberly, yours is going to be out. Um, so I got the last two giveaways. I got one more giveaway tonight. Um, and I'm going to pick the last one. And we'll have those all mailed off. Um, and then I checked the P.O. box and I had a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to show you what I have letter-wise and a gift as well. Thank you guys so much for that. We are really <laughs> having a lot of cards over there. I counted we have 58 cards. That's crazy. And it just brightens my face to look at them. Um, and then I went to Aldi because we were out of a couple of things and I was looking at their flyer that they sent me yesterday and they had Brussels sprouts. You guys know I'm addicted to Brussels sprouts. I mean, I guess there's worse things to be addicted to, but I'm loving them right now. And they had them for $1.19. Now, Aldi is normally pretty cheap. The cheapest I can find at $1.99 is what I usually pay, but $1.19 is what they were this week. So I went ahead and got two more of those. I'll show you the rest of the stuff I got. And then I need to go to Walmart. It's just like every day I need more stuff. But we have been out of computer paper, especially for a long time, probably weeks. And I keep meaning to get it. And it's like one of those things I keep every time I'm at the store, I forget. Here's my phone. David's calling me saying, have you seen the comments on today's video yet? Okay, my video has only been up for 45 minutes. But it's the one where... We were talking about our cars and we had to call the police and all that. And so he was like, I just can't believe how many comments of support you're getting. And you guys are such a blessing. What was I saying? <laughs> I went to Aldi and I went to Walmart because I keep meaning to buy computer paper and I keep forgetting computer paper. So I went and did that. Um, and then I came home. So let me show you everything I got and I can put all this stuff away. And then tonight, well, he's got to come back at like three and fix, finish fixing our air. So I think what I'm going to do is pick up the kids at two 30 and head over to the church because our banquet is on Sunday and they said I could go ahead and set up the table. So I don't have to go up there tomorrow as well. So I'm going to go up there and set up our table and I'll be taking the camera and getting you guys some footage of how my table turns out. I'm a little nervous. 
Um, my partner that's doing the table with me has the flu, you guys. She says she's feeling a lot better. So I told her, look, I will handle this. <laughs> Do not come up here. Um, just feel better. It's going to take me like maybe 10 or 15 minutes to set this up. It's very simple. So I'll be showing you that as well. But let me turn the camera on. Let me show you everything I got at the store. And let me show you the mail and all this fun stuff. Okay. Here is everything, you guys. So Lucy has been asking me for pancakes in the morning. And I don't have time to like make pancakes. It just has to be like grab and go. <laughs> it's easy level. So I went ahead and got some more. Nate likes these too. And we haven't had them in a while. So I got some. This is actually Walmart. Let me start with Aldi. I went ahead and got some more bananas. Um, we've had better luck lately with Walmart. I mean, with Aldi's bananas. And they're a lot cheaper than anywhere else. So I went ahead and got Lucy some more bananas. That's probably way too many. But you know, we used the last bit of olive oil last night and I like buying it at Aldi. So I saw it and I grabbed it. Here's my two packages of Brussels sprouts, $1.19. You can't beat that. And then I bought all my baking stuff, but I accidentally only grabbed two sweetened condensed milk the other day and I needed four. So I got two more of those. Um, it's almost the exact same price as Kroger. I was hoping they'd be cheaper. Um, I have some turkey burgers. Nate hasn't had turkey burgers in a while. I keep forgetting about it. So I got him some buns that we can use with the turkey burgers. And lastly at Aldi. Oh, I got some strawberries too. Yeah. Here's the strawberries. We used the last bit of strawberries this morning. So I always try to keep them in stock for Nate. $2.99. Not the best price, but it's December. So and then I was checking out and I saw these. Oh my gosh, I'm dying, you guys. So I've seen these kind of things on Etsy for a lot more money. And I just like, no, I don't want to do that. These, they had it all day. Do you know what they are? They are keychains. But they're keychains that you put your quarter in for Aldi so you never lose it. You guys know that I always am looking for the quarter because we have to use quarters for Lucy's um, ice cream day and everything. So I'm always looking for quarters and then I don't have my Aldi quarter. So I'm going to be putting a quarter in one of these. <laughs> I got two just because I thought maybe I can use it as a gift or something. I thought maybe it'd be cute to put it on somebody's present. Um for Christmas. Um, I just thought it was so cute. These were like a dollar oh nine or something. And then we'll have our Aldi quarter. I just love it. They had a bunch of different kinds, but I got the strawberry little heart and then Lucy will love the pink donut. So I'll probably keep the pink donut. I'm so excited about those. Okay. So I spent like $14 at Aldi. Then at Walmart, I got the pancakes. I needed some more mailers for the giveaways. I will say that I bought these at Dollar Tree, but at Walmart, they're even cheaper. They're 80 cents for two. So next time I'll make sure to buy those at Walmart. David and I needed new toothbrushes. Um, we like to, you know, change those out <laughs> when they get gross and they're getting there. So I just got like the 94 cent Oral-B Healthy Clean. I got me a pink, him a blue. I needed another... Um, like scrub daddy sponge. I love these for washing dishes and they didn't have the scrub daddy, but they had the Dawn. I will say I've used this, the duck before. It doesn't last as long as the scrub daddy. It kind of falls apart after, I mean, I had it for a while and then it kind of fell apart. So, hmm, but it's a lot cheaper. It's like 94 cents as opposed to like three something the scrub daddy is, but they didn't have the scrub daddy. So I went ahead and got the Dawn. We needed some more Q-tips. So I got some more of those. Lucy, this may be TMI, but Lucy outgrew her underwear. <laughs> so um, she needed some bigger sizes. So normally we get the character one, but these were so much cheaper. So she's just going to have to be okay with it. I still thought they were cute, the little owls. And um, I like that they came with some white ones in case she's wearing white pants or something. Uh, we have a big taste test video coming up soon. And for our taste test, we like the paper bowls because we can write the you know, number and letter. If you guys know how we do that, it's just so much easier than any other way we found. So we needed some more of those. I haven't bought these for David in a while. So I thought he would enjoy these panino, prosciutto wrapped mozzarella cheese. Um, I know Aldi has a big variety pack, but he does not like the salami ones. So those would just be wasted. So I just went ahead and got these for him. They're like $5, but still, he loves them. I got a big thing of mozzarella cheese because we're out, and I thought I could make a fathead pizza or something this weekend. We were almost out of eggs, so I got some more of that. I should have got it at Aldi, but I forgot until I got to Walmart. And then I got another pack of our carb counter wraps. We're completely out. And here is the computer paper. Praise the Lord, I didn't forget. 
And then because I'm going to be doing a lot of baking, I like to have wax paper on hand. I think I have some, but I wasn't sure how much it was, like how much I had. So I like to do it like for dipping chocolate. You can set it on here and it won't make a mess everywhere. Okay, let's get into the haul of mail. Okay, so the first one is from Bella. Bella, you are such a sweetheart. First of all, she sent me two books of stamps. Okay, what's so crazy, you guys are like my guardian angels, I swear, like seriously, what's so crazy is I just finished the stamps that everybody sent me, like I've had so many people send me stamps, and I just did the last one last night, I, I ran out, and then I go today, and I'm like, oh, I need to buy some stamps, um, there's two more books, <laughs> how do y'all know, how do y'all time it, and these are the beautiful Christmas ones, which I haven't seen yet, I'm so excited, I love the Santa Oh my goodness. And then this one is like animals. Oh my gosh. So cute. And then she sent me the most beautiful gift. She said, I hope you don't have one. I don't have one. I've never even seen this before. It'll okay, you guys, it's trying to focus. Do you see that? It says blessed and it has this beautiful leather band. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Bella. I love it. I love it. Okay, now the cards. Look at the sparkles. This one is from Marianne. Thank you so much, Marianne. And then this is a beautiful one. The Christmas blessings and the candle. This one is from Tracy. Tracy just had surgery and I've been praying for her. Thank you so much, Tracy. I love you. I love you guys. You guys are such a blessing. And then I love this one. Oh my gosh. Doesn't everybody want this for Christmas? Oh my gosh. So cute. This is from Sandra. Thank you so much. Okay. Next step. It's a cute little polar bear. And this is from Ashley. And I loved her message because she said she's a 23 year old student with no kids, but she loves watching our family. And I really appreciate that. And um, how many of you are just single and you have met, like, you don't really relate to our life. You don't have anything in common with us, but you love our family. That's just such a blessing. How good do these cookies look? Um, this is from, this is from Michaela. Thank you so much, Michaela. She said, if you have not tried the hot cocoa kisses, Hershey Kisses, you need to try them. I need to get some of those to try because I have not tried those. Maybe I'll get some for the kids' party and then I can taste one and not be stuck with a whole thing. <laughs> um, this is from Bobby, and she has a YouTube channel called Mother of One. So thank you so much, Bobby. That's beautiful. I love Oh Come Let Us Adore Him. I love that song. Um, Kim sent me this. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. And then you guys, this is my favorite. This is for my mother-in-law and this is a birthday card. <laughs> um, and she sent me a gift card to Cato, which is like my favorite place ever. And it's so funny because my birthday kind of gets lost in the mix of Christmas. And I used it because it's a week. It's exactly a week before Christmas. It's December 18th. And um, as a kid, I hated that because, you know, nobody cares about your birthday when it's that close to Christmas. I will say nobody, but it felt like that as a kid. Like all my birthday parties, you know, people were leaving to go out of town and, I would get a lot of like combination presents, like here's your present for Christmas and your birthday. I hated that. I would hate if people would wrap my birthday present in Christmas wrap. I hated that. I'm like, this is my birthday. <laughs> and now as I've gotten older, I actually love my birthday around Christmas because it's such a fun, magical time. And um, it's just so fun to, to celebrate my birthday in the season of Christmas. But um I really appreciate the birthday card and it's like reminding me that my birthday's coming. It's just in a few days. So that's exciting. So thank you. Thank you. Th thank you. Thank you so much to my mother-in-law and father-in-law and brother-in-law. Uh, David's family is the best. Like I couldn't have asked for any, any one better, any better family to marry into. They're seriously like, I mean, they're like my second parents. I love them. So anyway, that is it. I know this video is already getting long. And it's just the opening clip. So I'm going to just put everything away, do some work uh, on the computer, eat lunch. I may show you a clip of lunch or whatever I decide to make. And then um, I'll go get the kids and I'll show you us setting up the table and all that. So 
I'll see you guys back in a little bit. I made more Brussels sprouts for lunch, but I did not have bacon, so I used Parmesan cheese instead. Salt, pepper, garlic. Delish. They're actually here fixing my air right now, so it's going to get done a little bit earlier than they thought. So anyway, I'll see you guys back when I'm decorating my table later. set up that was the easy part then I started getting stuff ready for Sunday I'm lacking decorations in this room this is the room I have to deal with because of the banquet going on I did a nativity <laughs> there's a little tree right here and back over there is a pin the nose on the snowman that's all the decorations I have I'm hoping maybe I can get a couple of things like put some streamers I don't know I just feel like it doesn't look festive I have everything ready for the games we're doing these craft ornaments on Sunday for the kids' party. Pin the nose on the stomach. Bingo, Christmas bingo. And we're decorating gingerbread houses. So that's our crafts. I also have some games. So we weren't planning on eating at home tonight, but it's now like five o'clock and we're across town. So we're probably gonna go get some dinner. And then I was also told we're having, so we're having pizza for the kids on Sunday and there's a little Caesars just right up the street. So I was like, I told David, can you go get that like right before church is over? And he said, sure. We just found out that, that thing closed down. <laughs> so I don't know what we're doing. If we order pizza, it's a lot more expensive than just cheap pizza. So we got to figure it out. Have you been good during any of this? <laughs> okay, let me walk down here and show them. I know this video is getting lost. So I'm going to go fast. Everybody else is gone, I think. So let me show you the space we have. Lucy, make sure Bob is coming. Let me show you the space we have for our tables. Um, I'm the only one that has my table up. How do you think it? How do y'all think it turned out? I know it's simple, but 
Um, I think with the candles going and everything, it'll be really pretty. Thank you guys for all of your suggestions, by the way. So I'm not going to be in here for the banquet, but I will be with the kids. And we'll be vlogging and all that. So, all right, we're going to go to dinner. The kids are fighting. Story of my life. All right, you guys, we are back home. We went to Moe's for dinner. We may or may not have had a few carbs. Um, by the time we got to Moe's, I have a ter terrible migraine. It was a crazy, I was going to say day, but honestly, it was a crazy week. So that happened, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Anyway, um, we got home. We all got baths. Well, David didn't, but me and the kids got showers. I got a shower. They got a bath. And um, by the way, they fixed our air conditioning today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hopefully, fingers Hallelujah. crossed, Hallelujah. it's actually fixed. They forgot to take our portable AC out. I forgot to remind them of that. So we have that in case, you know, it doesn't work, but. It's pretty cold outside, so we don't have it on the AC on right now. But if we need it, it's fixed. Fingers crossed. It was like a big ordeal. Apparently, I don't even I don't, I don't even want to pretend to know what happened, but they busted something when they were putting it in. They had a full-on blowtorch in my apartment at one point trying to fix something. So I'm a little afraid, but um, supposedly it's fixed. And we felt the air. We turned it way down and felt it, and it was blowing cold. So... That's all I want to say. Thank you guys so much. My video went live today about the cars and all the, the stuff. We had to call the police and you guys left the sweetest comments. Oh my gosh. So much support. Um, I, uh, so many of y'all are saying, are, are your flat tires related? We have no idea. We have absolutely no idea. No way to prove anything. Um, who knows? Now, one of David's flat tires was a leaky valve or something. So they didn't do that, I guess, but the other two could be, who knows. Um, some people have said, why don't y'all move to a bottom floor apartment? We've gotten that question. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we just move? Um, we've gotten that question a lot. It's actually a lot harder than just, let's just move to a bottom floor. It's just a lot involved money, time, and the fact that there's not really any bottom floors available during anyway, it's just, it would just be a huge headache. So, um, Anyway, so we got the just got the kids to bed, and I'm going to be giving away my last planner. Let me grab it real quick. I keep saying planner. It's not a planner. I mean, it could be a planner, but it's not a planner. It is a dotted notebook, journal, whatever you want it to be. It's a dotted notebook, though. Look up bullet journaling if you want more ideas on how to use it. Um, but I'm giving away this lovely peachy color. I mean, we're in Georgia, right? So this is just... Perfect. This one I'm going to throw in a little bit extra. So I have a couple of things left from Universal Yum. So you'll be getting the candy canes, like three or four of the different flavors I have left. You're going to be getting some chocolate from Australia from our lovely friend who we do have a taste test coming with that soon. And um, I'm going to throw in Universal Yum's, like a couple of things from them. And I'm also going to throw in a free week of meals from HelloFresh. Now, if you've already used HelloFresh and you win this, you might want to sign up with like a different email or something, but this will be a completely free week of meals. You won't have to pay anything because I love HelloFresh and I want you guys to all try it. I wish I could give one of these to everybody, but I don't have that many. <laughs> so um, I, I do believe you have to put a credit card down, but if you use this and you immediately want to cancel it, you can cancel it. You won't get charged. At least I believe that's how it works. So you'll be getting the free week of meals, um, all the other stuff I mentioned, and the peach journal. So I just entered all of the, the comments into the comment picker. And the winner is, drum roll please, the last giveaway. The winner is Abby D 1015 Abby D 1015 Congratulations, you just won my last giveaway. So if you are watching this and you are Abby D 1015 and you have not sent me your mailing information, I'm going to try to contact you. But for some reason you have not sent, ow, 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 I just have a really bad cramp in my hand. That was weird. Um, if you have not sent me here, <laughs> that was weird. I get cramps in my feet all the time, but that was like my hand. Um, if you have not sent me your mailing information, Message me on Facebook, your mailing information, or you can email me um, that and I'll get it out to you and that will be it for the giveaways, but I do them time to time. So if you didn't win this time, 
your time is coming. And all of you who say you never want anything, I totally understand because I've never won anything either. So I feel your pain. It's just the luck of the draw, you know? And congratulations to me, other six winners, seven in all. It's been really fun. Big shout out to Clever Fox for sending me all of these to give away. It's been a lot of fun. If you guys did not win and you want to check out Clever Fox, they have awesome planners, weekly planners, daily planners, monthly plan planners, and they also have these dotted notebooks. I will link them down below. Actually, um, I actually, I don't mention this enough, but I have my own Amazon shop. If you go to amazon.com slash shop slash bless Jess, I'm just going to send you guys there. You'll see all the planners and all kinds of stuff that I really like. And, um, we get like a teeny percentage, like one or 2%, like it's not much, but <laughs> if you want to support our family, whenever you shop at Amazon, you guys, if you go through my shop, even if you don't buy anything that I recommend, we still get a percentage and it really, really helps us out. It doesn't cost you guys anything extra, but it helps our channel because there's a lot of expenses to doing YouTube a lot. And this really helps. So if you are having, you know, any huge big screen TVs to buy or something on Amazon, <laughs> keep us in mind. Um, just go through my shop. That'd be awesome. Um, how did you guys like my table? I think it came out really good, super simple. And then everything that I bought, um, I will be able to use, I'm going to put that wreath on my door. Um, I'm, I'm so excited to have that black tablecloth. It came out so perfect. I'm actually going to link the one I bought on my Amazon shop because it is a great quality. It's a teeny bit sheer, but not, not majorly. It fit the per. The, the table, I mean, it went all the way down to the ground. It was 120 inches. So it went all the way down to the ground. And it is so nice for like $13. And they had so many different colors. There was all these reviews saying that, you know, instead of renting for um, weddings and stuff, that, that people had just bought these and were really, really impressed with them. And then you have them. So, so next time I need a tablecloth for something like this, I won't have to worry about it. I'll already have one. So Anyway, I know this video is getting long, so I'm going to sign off now. Tomorrow is Saturday, busy day getting ready for the kids' Christmas party, and I need to start on my holiday baking. So, busy day there too, you know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.